everyone, it's Patty Laurel Filler. Welcome to a new day. Now, whether you're homeschooling, distance learning, or just trying to be a mindful parent during these uncertain times, we're all adjusting for the sake of our children. Now, I'm not an expert. I'm completely new and clueless about this whole setup. My husband and I are just learning together and doing our best every day. Luckily, we received a lot of encouragement and some great tips from seasoned educators and parents. So I figured I might as well share them with you today. So for this episode, I'll be talking about five simple ways to get your home ready for school. The size of the space doesn't really matter. Big or small, you can get creative by reassigning your area to make it a conducive learning environment. And don't stress, it doesn't have to be picture perfect. As long as your area is well ventilated, comfortable, has ample lighting, and strong Wi-Fi, then you're good to go. Tip number two, keep it simple. Now I'll admit, as a working mom of two, this tip is quite hard to navigate because honestly, it's really a struggle to keep your house in order, especially when you have 10,000 things to do all at the same time. However, I also acknowledge the value of a clean and organized space. It really sets the mood for the day and helps my kids mentally prepare for schooling. So the best trick is to keep things simple. Tip number three, recycle, reuse, and repurpose. You don't have to spend a lot to create a new learning environment. In fact, I love the challenge of finding new ways to reuse things we already have at home and to breathe new life to what you've considered mundane. You'll be so surprised by your own resourcefulness and creativity. Tip number four, invest in smart innovations. Because you were able to reuse, recycle, and repurpose things, you're able to save a lot. This allows you to spend more mindfully on good investment pieces like a gadget, a sturdy table, a good chair, or even wise storage solutions to make things much easier for you. And my last and final tip would be to pray for the space. I know it sounds silly to actually pray for a room, but praying for your learning area is really a way of dedicating the space to the Lord. At the end of the day, it is God who will really guide us as parents, teachers, and students as we do our best to adjust to this new learning setup. So if you can, say a little prayer with your child before you begin each homeschool day. That wraps up our list. I just want to take this time to encourage all the parents, the guardians, the lolos, lolas, all the teachers and the students as well. Let's always check up on each other, encourage one another, and continue to pray for our country. Thanks for joining me. Bye.